you guys are exactly alike like you guys are the same you guys are a perfect match for each other god made no mistake when he put y'all together when he he made a covenant between you two god made y'all god made no mistake when he instructed both of y'all to walk on this path together this is a very direct and a very specific word and not many people understand the concept of kingdom marriages but i will say this whoever this word is for you will understand okay and i will say this it's not easy trying to find someone to fit the type of walk that you have or the type of calling that you have when you're walking with god and you are one of his chosen and you have to consistently be on your p's and q's you have to consistently be fighting warfare you got to be consistently waking up all hours of the night to pray to cancel to rebuke you have specific gifts that are not explainable because only a person that operates through that same gift will understand or only a person who is operating through similar gifts will understand so when it's time for you to look for someone flesh wise you have to look for someone who you think fits your standards it ain't gonna make sense a person that you may find in the flesh that you think fits your standards, they're not going to understand why you got to wake up all hours of night to pray and to rebuke and to cancel. They're not going to understand who you're talking to when you're talking to someone back out loud in your bathroom or in your kitchen when you have a conversation. They're not going to understand the gifts that you have or what you saw in the spiritual realm. They're not going to understand your walk of life because... Y'all ain't on the same path. But when God specifically assigns your husband or your wife to you, both of y'all will understand each other because that person is your rib. That person is your rib or you are the rib. And when God assigns you to that person who is your perfect match, anything through God is perfect. Perfect. God makes no mistakes. And God will never embarrass himself. So anything through God that is your perfect match, that is like your other half. It's like you being the remote and the person's a TV. Y'all just match. You see what I'm saying? It's like that person being the shoe and you being the foot. That it fits. That is your other half when God picks your person. Which means that the assignment that you have... Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. He showed me a puzzle just now. <laughs> he just showed me a puzzle. Okay? You two both make that perfect picture of that puzzle you two together are what's are is what's connecting that puzzle together okay so when god brings y'all together because you guys are a perfect match it's like you may have the gift to hear and your partner has the gift of discernment you may have the gift to see your partner has the gift to hear it's like you guys complement each other in the relationship that's how God intended it for intended it to be. Y'all complement each other in the relationship. You see the spirits, they rebuke the spirits. Or you see the spirits, they deliver the spirits. Y'all working together as a team. But the point of me saying this, I know I took too long to get to the point, but I had to give you guys a whole kingdom marriage concept there. Because kingdom marriage is not just a word that's floated around like it's floated around the internet. There's, there's a true meaning behind it. And there's a true calling behind it. Many of you guys feel like you're, you're 
isolated because you're set apart so it feels like you're isolated because nobody's gonna understand you no one's gonna understand what you're fighting in the spiritual no one's gonna understand your gifts no one's gonna understand your walk of life because not everybody's walking that life not everybody has these gifts so when you meet someone who is on the same page and they have to wake up all hours of the night to rebuke as well and they can see in a spiritual realm as well they have access to certain things as well god is going to connect you two together so it's not awkward so you guys have an understanding on a spiritual level as to what it is y'all both fighting as it is what is the assignment that god has given both of you you guys have a better understanding of the dynamic of the covenant so y'all lay on different pages you see what i'm saying y'all don't look crazy to each other y'all don't look crazy y'all can communicate with each other without even being around each other because y'all got gifts and point me saying this is for some of you guys or whoever this word is for it's not easy for a man or a woman to find someone who understands this calling it's not if you try to find someone and you go based on your own decision your own fleshly desires you're going to make some mistakes you're going to make some mistakes and what people don't understand is there's levels to these gifts. There's levels to this calling. It's not just, I could be with whoever I want to be with. Yeah, God gave you free will, but you be with someone you, if you end up with the wrong person, that's not a sign from God to be with you. They'll be the one to, to put you in a crazy house. They'll be the one to say you're crazy. They'll be the one to think something's wrong with you. Because that's not the, the assigned partner that God had for you, has for you. And it's not easy to find people who don't understand this because... I'm sorry, it's, it's not easy to find the person who understands this. God can only lead you to that person who understands this calling, this walk of life. I remember seeing a TikTok a while back of a male that said... He's been single for years... And he can't have a normal life like other people. Like, he can't date normally like other people. Because every girl that he has tried to date, they don't understand why he got to wake up at 3 a.m. to pray. Or our hours a night to pray. They don't understand his, his ministry, his calling. They don't understand his walk of life. So, he's not like the very people that he was interested in dating. So, he's been single for years because he's trying to find his rib, right? And... He's waiting for God to bring that perfect person in for him because that person is going to understand his walk of life because they're also on the same walk, right? So, point of me saying this is, whoever this word is for, I got a word for you. The man that God has for you or the woman that God has for you, they didn't know that you were their perfect fit. They didn't know that you were their rib. They didn't know that you understood their walk of life because you're also on the same journey they didn't know that but they judged you they judged you because they didn't know see when you're after your flesh and what your flesh wants you see past what makes sense and what god wants you don't see the bigger picture right because if you don't understand God's purpose for your life, and if you're not aware that you're putting together a puzzle piece, you're not going to see the bigger picture. You're going to try to fit any piece into that puzzle, any piece that makes sense to your flesh in that puzzle. That's what happened in this scenario. Your person tried, to, and we've all been in this boat before, but your person tried to fit pieces that made sense now i see why god <laughs> now i see why holy spirit showed me a puzzle and vision your person tried to fit pieces to a puzzle that didn't make sense you ever you, you ever you ever try to put a puzzle together and you're so frustrated with putting the puzzle together because you don't have that assistance from god so imagine you're trying to put a puzzle together 
and you're just trying to put every piece in different directions that makes sense to you oh this piece looks like it matches because it has similar colors to the picture you know when you're not you know when you're trying to put the pieces in the right place and you're like okay let's look for all the this is the puzzle has like different colors orange and red and green and you're looking for all the green pieces to put in the green area so you're like okay this piece looks like it matches because it has some short sort of green in it so let's see it's going to be in this area and you try to force it in places that it doesn't fit that's what happened with your person your person tried to force puzzle pieces into a place that didn't fit and that's ooh, holy spirit that's deep and that's what happened because sometimes not even sometimes God usually hides his children and the person looked at you you were hidden you were hidden in plain sight Woo, Holy Spirit you were hidden in plain sight so because you were hidden in plain sight and you may have been depending on your situation you may have also been fighting off the spirit of rejection and all of that stuff but you were hidden in plain sight so even your very own husband or wife didn't see you they didn't see you because you were hidden in plain sight so when they looked at you they did judge they didn't think that you were equipped to walk on the same path that they're on or to to be on the same walk they are they're on because you didn't look like you were equipped you didn't look like it but other people looked like it. Other people may have put on this image that they are this perfect person. Let me give you an example. I don't know who this is for, but let's just say that your person may have went after someone based on fleshly desire. And this person may have put on this persona, I'm a church girl or I'm a church guy. But they did not have God in their heart like that. It was for image. Or oftentimes when the devil sends counterfeits, the counterfeits try to pretend like they have things in common with your husband or your wife. So they observe, these counterfeits will observe your husband and wife and see what they're into, see what they like, and pretend that they are that perfect fit because they also have these things in common but really they don't and if your person ain't walking with God and, and person ain't operating through their discernment properly and because you're hidden they can be tricked you see and that's what happened in someone's case here so you see what happened is your person didn't think that you were the perfect fit for that puzzle piece because they thought the walk of life that they're on and you wouldn't understand it. You wouldn't understand it because not everybody opens up about the types of gifts they have. Not everybody's open to saying, hey, I can hear the Holy Spirit. Hey, I can see visions. I can see dreams. Most prophets or most, most individuals who are anointed, oftentimes they're quiet. They're quiet. Majority of the ones who are quiet to are men. <laughs> Men are more secretive with their gifts than women. I noticed that. Women are more open with their gifts more than men. But some anointed, yes, they're quiet. So your, your person was operating from their gift of whatever gift they had. But they had this gift of the anointing. Right? And them operating through that gift they didn't think that you had an anointing they didn't think that you were operating from a gift as well but they went after who they thought was and that's where the devil came in and tricked them but the point of me saying this is this person now understands that you are operating from the same gifts or similar gifts and they understand now that you have an understanding of the walk that they're walking. Because why? You are walking on that same path. You are their perfect match. You are the piece that fits the puzzle. You understand why they gotta wake up all hours and pray. You understand 
why they mumble to they mumble to themselves in the bathroom or kitchen because you know they talking to the Holy Spirit you understand why they have to write down visions and dreams you understand all this because you are on the same journey and God has revealed this revelation to your husband or to your wife now it's hitting them hard in the chest because they didn't know God hit you so well that they didn't even see you God hit you so well that they didn't even see you this is why oftentimes one party knows about the connection knows about their um, covenant together before the other party because usually one party is hidden and, and one party is sometimes also blindsided depending on what, what they're going through and one party sometimes is hidden but this is why oftentimes one will know before the other and then the other will come to the revelation after but there's also a sense of feeling guilt and feeling bad because they did look past you in the beginning originally because they didn't think that it's not that you weren't good enough it's not that you did not they did not want to be which is not any of that but you did not look like you were able to fit their walk of life their journey you didn't look like you could fit their journey because they had no idea that you were operating through the same or similar gifts because God had you hidden but God had you hidden for a reason because y'all was not supposed to be in that relationship at that time. No, 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 no. You guys weren't strong enough. But you see, through this whole period before your person got their revelation, God was strengthening you in spirit and strengthening them in spirit. So when y'all come together, y'all are more powerful in spirit and more powerful with your gifts. Had y'all come together at that time, warfare would have been too intense for y'all the devil would have attacked y'all you see what i'm saying but now that y'all are, are stronger in your gifts you guys can actually work together now right but this person this person now understands the dynamic of the covenant and they understand now that you were the missing piece this entire time okay this entire time so I just want to give someone this confirmation I think this has a, a this relates to the I miss you message I posted yesterday I think this relates to it because I literally just got this word but you guys understand each other's walk of life, you know? Anyways, love you guys. Bye.